So here we are. Um, today we are going to be creating butterfly gardens. Um, I've, I've picked some plant product that is uh, attractive to butterflies. Um, sometimes during our projects we do fresh cut floral arrangements. Sometimes we've done orchid gardens, we've done terrariums. And I just thought this would be kind of a neat thing leading into spring. Everyone gets a pepper box. And what we're going to do is we've got um, some chip marble and we're going to put a little bit of that in the bottom to allow for drainage. All right, and then we're probably going to, I would recommend plant our largest piece, which is gonna to go to one side, it's gonna anchor. I'm gonna put mine to the right and we'll plant that in potting soil to bring the level up and then plant our other two annuals like so. And then once we've got it all nice and planted, we'll use some more of the marble chips to kind of put on the top to finish it off, okay? So that's our project, and uh, I will walk you through it step by step. That's kind of easy enough, um, but I'm going to open the bags, and I'll do mine, and then I'll let you do yours, okay? So when you're doing any plantings, um, it's always nice to put a little bit of rock, pebble, in the bottom so when you're watering it it gives uh, it filters through the dirt and then through the rocks and it doesn't clog up the holes down in the drain pan okay then you're going to put a nice layer of soil across the bottom like so now before you plant this you might want to just loosen it a little bit so that the roots will stick And then you're going to fill in a little bit more to bring the other side up to the same level. And don't worry about making a mess, we'll clean it all up. I was going to do this inside and then I thought, oh no. I'm going to take my other two pieces that I have and since this is shorter and this is the tallest, I'm going to plant them in this order, okay? so that our height anchors here and our eye follows down. Again, remove that from the pot. Break it up just a little bit. And this is a fun way to start getting ready for spring and summer, even though we've still got a few cold weeks ahead of us. And this is something you can put outside, but if it starts getting really cold between now and, you know, you can bring it back in. and fill in all your gaps and spaces. We're just going to do it like this. All right. Then we're going to take some of the marble chips. To finish it off. And I guess you would say to cover our mechanics. And there you have your very own butterfly garden. Now you could do some things with it and, and build a trellis up behind it with river cane or bamboo uh, just for aesthetic looks. And, and like I said, it'll attract butterflies. And here we have a lot of those uh, monarchs that come by and, and, and they'll just eat this up. So anyway, that is the project. And now we'll do it together. But yeah, you just want to make sure that you always leave enough for it to filter through. Let's turn him maybe a little bit that, that way. He's not leaning off the side. Yeah. All right, now that you've done that, you'll just get you more dirt to kind mm -hmm. of fill in. You need to break that up just a little okay. bit down at the bottom of it to get, there you go. Okay. All right. There we go. and put them in just don't bury them completely okay. and then fill your dirt in to about here when you're done okay, <laughs> okay. What I'll, do is I'll give you a few pieces of this as I've just taken over sorry mm -hmm. you're great <laughs> 
and then you can attach them attach to them that, and it'll keep them very nice. And then once you water it, you know the dirt will wash off the top, but that white looks good with that black. You might want to add some more rocks to the back. If if somebody over here doesn't use them all. I know. I'm moving. I'm moving. I'm moving. <laughs> Heavy water them twice a week, but just a light water every day. You, you don't want it to get waterlogged. This is a reservoir. It will, it will hold, and it'll hold the overflow. As far as temperature, um, they like uh, sunlight, um, filtered, direct to filtered. Um, you don't want it full on all day, but um, you, Depending like on screen porch. screen porch, as long as it gets that filtered sunlight. Um, cold, you, you don't want them to freeze. So once it starts getting down into the, thir you know, low 40s, 30s, you probably want to bring it in or or cover it up. But thank y'all for coming today and being a part of the workshop. If you want to wash your hands, if you'll make your way through the disaster zone all the way to the back, you'll see a restroom to your left. Step up.